First up, we're going to mount the bracket up onto the ceiling. So we'll get up here nice and carefully. And we're just going to secure this with the screws provided. Hi everyone, welcome to the Home Automation X channel with your MCs, get it? Marianne, <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> now today we're going to do a video on the Chamberlain MyQ Garage, which is a garage door opener. Now we're no strangers to the garage door openers. You might have seen another video we did on Garage It. What it has is these reflectors. So when you put the reflectors on it, this will actually talk to it and it will shoot it with its laser beam. That's right, <laughs> laser beams attached to the reflectors. And we were thinking about doing a comparison video, which we will do in the future. Now for now, let's look at what the Chamberlain MyQ Garage is all about. It is a universal smartphone garage door controller, as you can see right from the box here. And it has a variety of options. You know when your garage door is open, when it closed, and can do it from anywhere which is a pretty neat feature. Marianne, take it away. Alrighty. Uh, why don't we open this box up and see what's inside. Now, we've got some instructions, but we don't need those because you've got us. Here, we've got our Wi-Fi hub, our door sensor, and it says there's additional contents below, so let's check that out. And this looks like our power adapter and some brackets, which there they are. Alrighty. Now, as you may note, this can take a while to, uh, you know, go through. Speaking of taking a while, it does take a while for us to edit these videos. We actually use something called the Pinnacle Studio, and I'm going to give a shout out to Malik. Without his help, we wouldn't be able to give you the quality content that we have here today. Hey Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Now if you do want to use the Pinnacle Studio, check out the links below because it is rapid access to some awesome smartware. Now maybe you have two garage doors. If that's the case, you need to go out and buy another sensor. Now let's go out and do this, shall we? Let's install it. First up, we're going to mount the bracket up onto the ceiling. So we'll get up here nice and carefully. And we're just going to secure this with the screws provided. There we go. And now I'm just going to slide in our Wi-Fi hub. And there we go. Now comes the door sensor. Now with the door sensor, you always want to make sure that it's up high and with the top facing up. Now in this case, it actually comes with both um, double-sided tape and the screws. Now because we're going directly into the wood here, I am going to screw it right in. So now we're going to pair it with our Wi-Fi hub and you'll need to download the MyQ app. Uh, first things first, you're going to want to let, enter your login info, click the plus, click add a new place, enter the serial number. All right. And now we need to connect my queue to the internet, connect using Wi-Fi. There we go. And blah, 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 connected. And we'll go to connect for that my queue. And we're connected. Go back into the app. There's my queue and connect using Wi-Fi, click that. And now it says welcome. The step-by-step -step guide will help you connect your Wi-Fi to the internet through your home's Wi-Fi network. Please press start to begin. There we go. All right, it's scanning for available networks and we have blah, 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 of course. <laughs> Enter our password. All right, saving your network information. Alrighty, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Your network information has been saved. Click next and your Wi-Fi will connect to your network. All right, your Wi-Fi is connecting to the internet through your network. This process may take a few minutes, so please be patient. All right, the Wi-Fi LED is solid green. And name the place, I will call it home. There we go. 
All right, garage door opener, and that's what we'll select. And now click yes. And now locate the test button. And now press the button on the sensor. All right. And now tap to select your opener. And now scroll down, I have Genie. There we go. Now select program door opener right there. And now this is a warning that your door will move. All right, now we'll press the program button, then click I have pressed the button. And it's attempting to open the door now. It's now program door opener. All righty. Garage door starts to go up. And there we go, there we have it. The app is updated and that door is almost open. <laughs> and I will click on the door to close it. There we go. Down to close it. And that beeping is a warning that it's closing. There we go. And it gives you a little prompt that says it's taking its time and closing for a few seconds. Now I want to create an alert if this door is open. So I'll go to the left here and click on the plus. Garage door opener. And I will call it left open. All right. This is our alert setup left open for longer than two hours then we'll have that alert go off so i'll set it for that now turn on your push notification turn on your email notification as well and click on the save button to save those settings and there you have it and we're done currently my queue doesn't support the amazon echo or google home but that could change in the months to come uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with my Chamberlain uh, MyQ garage opener. Um, we had no problem setting it up and it worked fine for us. You won't be disappointed. Well, the actual retail price of MyQ is $99 and we've included the link below so you can access it. Uh, MyQ was not given to us to review. We actually went out and purchased it locally for $129 uh, just so you could see how we set it up and how it works with the app. Now, something that should be said is that we do have affiliate links on our site here, and that goes a long way to helping us. It might seem like a little bit, but every percentage point does count, and it does help us overall. So be sure to check out those links and peruse and shop to your heart's content. That being said, there's a link below where you can see where you can purchase the MyQ on Amazon. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video and that you tune in for more to come. Now to stay afloat of all of the fabulousness that Home Automation X brings you, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, when you subscribe, remember to click on the bell icon right next to it so you're gonna get notified when I release a new video. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and comment and send your questions in. Thanks for watching.